Good morning, my angels. How you doing? Welcome back to another Vlogmas day five, six. I have no idea what day it is, um, but I've almost been doing Vlogmas for a week. Can you believe it? I thought I'd start today with going to Cafe Nero's and just having like a couple of things from their Christmas menu because anything with the word pigs and blankets in, I'm sold. Like, I'm sold. And then there's like a, um, a pantone... Oh, no, I'm not going to even... You know what my pronunciation's like. Panettiere or something. Pantomime coffee. <laughs> Me, my mum and my sister actually went to Cafe Nero a couple of weeks ago. I think I mentioned it in the vlog where I was doing the Greg's video. And, oh my God, the coffee in there is so good. So they've got a plant-based festive feast, brie, bacon and cranberry, oh this is it. Or do I want this one? Uh, Hello, so back in my car now, ready to taste. So this is the Panettone Latte. So it's espresso with panettone syrup and oat milk, um, which is good. So this is all vegan as well. Cinnamon dusting on it. Pigs in blankets, um, baguette, which is obviously sausage, bacon, balsamic vinegar and cheddar cheese. Because why not? It's Christmas, eh? Mmm. What a great way to start the day. Immediately the balsamic onion is overpowering. Mmm. Mmm. The sausage is very peppery, but it's lovely because you can have a sausage and bacon separately. But as soon as you wrap that bacon in the sausage, it transforms into its own perfect, like, snack. I mean, it's not the best I've ever had in my entire life, but it does the job. Mmm. It is good. And then in here is the panettone latte. Mm, can just taste the cinnamon right now. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure about this. I don't think I've ever had a panettone. Um, <clears throat> like all I can taste is the cinnamon right now. I mean, it's nice. It's really nice, but no, I wouldn't get this again. I wouldn't advise you to run out and grab this. Only because I'm not exactly sure if my taste buds are excited about it. It's just a bit meh. I mean, I'll drink it. It's nice. It's warming, but it's not like, whoa, oh my God, the panettone is incredible. The syrup is so gorgeous. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> darling, darling, stay. So you're joining me in the evening light. Like, today I went to get some skin treatments. Um, so my face is a little bit red, but glowy. Repping the Buffy t-shirt today, cooking dinner. We've got to announce a giveaway. Basically, I was near Richmond slash Putney area. And basically, there's this old social club that me and my family used to go to when me and my sister were younger. And I went back today, and this is it, and it hasn't changed at all. And I drove down the narrow little road, and I saw it, and the amount of memories that came flooding back. Um, oh, it was really lovely. We used to go there, oh my God, like every week, I swear, like every weekend. And I used to like fall asleep under the coats and there used to be like seafood tables like the crab sticks and the whelks and the cockles and there used to be like this like bowls and people used to play bowls and I used to like um, go do the scratch card. Oh my god, just so many memories of running around with like my cousins and stuff like that. It was really lovely. lovely. I, have, I haven't seen that place in about 20 years. So to go back and see it's not changed at all and it's still open just made me so happy. So I'm just cracking on with dinner now. So tonight I'm having like this chickeny, tomato-y, pesto-y, um, garlic-y rice um, with capers and other little bits that I've got. And I've put in here some like um, 
chopped tomatoes. I, <laughs> this is gonna sound so strange, but I feel like having chopped tomatoes from a tin is very, like really a doll. Um, I'm obviously batshit, but like, I don't know, I never really cooked, I never ever cook with chopped tomatoes, unless I'm like doing Hello Fresh or something like that. Um, Cause I just think he's so really grown up. I don't know, I'm such a weirdo. Um, then we've got Ben's original savory chicken flavor rice. So something, not something too crazy. And then I've got some, and then I've got um, some fajita seasoning for the chicken. I'm gonna add some onion gravy and granules to the tomato -y sauce. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, using chopped tomatoes as an adult thing. Guys, honestly, you know me by now. I make no sense. Um, and this garlic and herb Nando's flavor shaker. Like, surely other people understand what I mean when I say like adult foods. Like, I feel like kidney beans are like really adult foods. Or like, I don't know. So this is really amazing to have in my coffee. You can get, now get this in like Boots and Sainsbury's. I think this is Khloe Kardashian's brand, but it's Dose & Co Collagen Creamer. Um, hair, skin, nails, all that sort of stuff, and I put that in with my one of my morning coffees, which I really like. I'm gonna put the um, the rice in the microwave for two minutes. So let's give this a good old coat. I feel like I should pour the sauce in there because this looks quite dry. God, what a mess. Oops. Oh no, that was burning. Stir this all together. <laughs> God, guys, this looks like a mess. Okay, I'm just gonna let that simmer. Um, smells good. It smells really good. Ooh, oh my God! I broke, dropped me brown sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna add some capers in there because I love capers so much. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in the rice. This looks like a massive portion. I'm gonna let that simmer for a bit. Guys, I've got to pick the giveaway. Oh, no, that does look great. I need to watch Zoe's new vlog. Ooh. Preparing for the new baby and Christmas last vlog of 2023. Um, so I'm gonna be drinking the Love AU sparkling water that I saw, infused with raspberry, strawberry, and blueberry. Um, yeah, this looks really nice and refreshing. I do love a sparkling water. I think that's why I love White Claw so much. Not because it's like a boozy drink. I think it's just because it just takes, I just love fresh drinks. And White Claw have, in America, they have like a million different variations of White Claw and I just love it so much. <laughs> um, but they've just released the White Claw Surge in the UK. Can't really handle my spirits anymore. Um, I just get way too drunk and it's just not pretty for anyone. So I know it's just chicken and rice guys. This is not monumental, but... Yeah, it's cooked. I get so funny about cooking chicken. So I'm just watching this documentary of this kid who, who's been accused of killing his mum. Um, which is obviously not the most uplifting um, of content. But I have this thing where I can't eat unless I have something incredible to watch with my dinner. Um, like, it's honestly, like, I spend more time trying to find the perfect, like, YouTube video to watch than I do actually spend on cooking dinner. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to watch Zoe's vlog. Building into that room. Building everything else, you know? Uh, this is so good. Building three. Mm -hmm. Four, three. Four, three is the room. Well, building three. Floor three. Oh. What is the most wild, craziest documentary you've ever seen? Please let me know. I just love documentary nights. The craziest one I've ever seen is one called Hidden in Plain Sight. Oh, abducted in plain sight. Oh my God. Guys, if you're into true crime documentaries and you have Netflix, or I don't know where else it would be, but abducted in plain sight is one of the wildest documentaries I've ever seen in my entire life. Like the whole documentary, I made my parents watch it and everyone I've ever met. And I, the whole documentary, I was like this. <laughs> it, it is 
Oh my god, it is mind blowing. There are some really upsetting materials in the in the documentary. But if you watch true crime and you are fascinated by true crime, you need to check it out. And he's picking up on some strange behavior from Gregory. Very strange. I'll leave the link to the documentary in the description if you want to watch it. But now I think it's time to announce the winner of the Charlotte Tilbury giveaway. Okay, so go on the photo of me and Zoe. 2,124 comments. Bloody hell. Then I'm going to go... Boom. Merry Vlogmas, Mark. I've been watching you for as long as I can remember, and your videos never fail to make me smile and laugh. You truly get me through all my bad days. Winning the giveaway would mean so much to me, but even if I don't, I appreciate you setting one up, and I look forward to watching your Vlogmas every evening. God, love her. Okay. So, Katie. Yay. Well done, Katie. Oh, I'm going to send you a message now. I feel like after today, things are going to start to get... Very wild. Guys, we go on a trip next week and <laughs> you're not ready. <coughs> it's gonna be the most magical place in the world. And no, it is not that land. The last fading fast from this old town we gotta go. Our bags are packed, so what we waiting for? There's no point in delaying. Guys, randomly, you know I'm going to that, um, you know I'm going to that rock night on Saturday. I need your help with, um, outfits. Now you know what I'm like, I don't really know how to dress for like a rocky sort of, um, poppy, grungy, sort of, rocky. <laughs> What do you think of these trousers? Oh! So I'm thinking, these trousers... Whoa! What do you think? I mean, these are rocky, aren't they? Um, with these boots, these like Chelsea boots, like a black sort of t-shirt that's like cropped a little bit, and then... Oh, bless her, Katie, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I can give you the giveaway. Oh, bless her. Like, you know how smart I love to be. So it'd be like a black t-shirt, which is sort of cropped, but this is like a, a temp one. And then these trousers with the black boots. I just feel like I'm just, I don't know, I really want to wear this outfit and I think it's cool, but I just don't know if it's going to be the vibe. But then who cares? And then this sort of like, cropped jacket like what do you think can you see the trousers i love the outfit i think that's the main thing isn't it what do we think i think this is really cool but let me know if i should go a little bit more catch obviously i won't be wearing the cropped jacket in there that's just for um outside and everything maybe i could get like a band t-shirt like a cropped brand a black uh, band t-shirt like I don't know, like Big 182 or something. These are just... What do you think? I love them. I think they're really cool. This is such a different sort of night out that I usually go out to. Because usually the places I go out to is either like... Like really nice bars or like gay clubs or like really like slug and lettuce. Not many places I go to have like, have like the rock poppy sort of vibe. Even though I love it so much. There are some cupboards in my flat that I'm gonna have to sort out. And what better way to do it with you guys? La la la. I mean, this is just... Smint, oh I love smints. <coughs> Jesus. Accidentally shaved 
my this bit off and then I had to do the other side and it was just absolute mess. Although Dylan is claiming that he's telling the truth, the story is quickly starting to contradict Brian. He needs to think about this answer when it should be easy to remember. Hey guys, so I'm all fresh out the shower. <laughs> and I really fancy like, um, like an old school sort of hot chocolate, but I'm gonna make the milk on like, um, the grill, not the grill. Um, the oh, what's that called? Like the stove. But today, when I was in the shop, just picking up some snacks, I found this. Now, I know I said to you the other day that one of my other aunties owned a cafe, a calf, um, that I went to today. And this, this just, she used to have like big, massive ones of these. And I remember like, I, I haven't seen them in the tubs like this in so long. I feel like as the years have gone on, like everything's turned into like sachets or glass jars or anything. But this is like cardboard, and this is just reminds me of my my um, auntie's calf. I've got like normal lactose-free milk, but I just wanted like a coconut hot chocolate. I'm gonna boil this on the stove. Is this a stove? Yeah, it is a stove. It's like an electric stove, isn't it? What mug are we gonna have, guys? Now, I know it's not very festive, but it's a really, I love the, um, the handle on this. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour however much I feel like I need in here. Wait, do you make it all with milk? Yeah, why am I boiling a kettle then? Oh, God. So let's just simmer that. Swirl into milk. Three teaspoons. One. Two, three. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, Amy, if you're watching this, doesn't this just remind you of oh childhood? Okay, so let's just give that a stir. Keep that bubbling away. We've got a busy night tomorrow night, guys, but I still want to get up really, really early tomorrow. I do definitely find um, editing vlogs so much easier than, say, like... So there's going to be one of the days I'm going to be like making a Lego, like a like a Lego, a Christmas Lego, and I just know I'm so anxious about editing that because I feel like that's going to be really like tedious to edit because it's just like one static video, if that makes sense. But with vlogs, it's loads of different clips, and I just find it so much easier. And then I have this Food Heaven plant-based um, Heavenly Wit uh, Cream. This is vegan, plant-based, free from gluten, free from soya. It's amazing. I don't think I've ever cooked hot chocolate like this before. Oh, that actually looks really nice. I've never been in there before. Look at me actually talking to myself. <laughs> You caught me actually talking to myself. Does anyone else talk to you? I think that's just the effect of living alone. Where is this pub though? I've never been there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. get in. Looks like normal cream, guys. I'm gonna take the Rudolph cheer. Oh, oh, Jesus. Look. Oh God, that looks like such a mess. Cheers! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's leaking. Okay. The cream is so good. Amazing, let me just clean up all this mess. I will see you tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Thanks for sticking with me. I love you to the moon and back. Stay safe, stay true to you, and I shall see you tomorrow.